What's up YouTube? My name is Jay and welcome to my channel. Welcome to part 3 of the mixing and mastering in Cubase 10.5 Pro. So, if you've been following me uh, from part 1, uh, part 2 and now part 3, you'll notice that we've already dealt with, uh, we've set up our Cubase for mixing. We've also done our vocal configurations and we are now looking at levels so in this video i'm going to show you how you can set up your levels and gain staging your vocals i'll show you a trick that you can use to do that so without wasting much of your time let's get started if you haven't watched part one part two go back there and watch so that you know what's actually going on one important thing when you're about to start setting your levels is if you look at your instrumental, you, can, you need to know at what frequency is it playing. Uh, is it playing somewhere above negative 6 dB? Because it depends with uh, at what level you exported it, maybe from Cubase or maybe how you made it. It doesn't matter. But you need to know, is it playing, is the maximum peak? Is the maximum peak at zero or is the maximum peak at negative six? But I would recommend if you are making a beat before you bring it here, make sure it's negative six dB. Or it doesn't matter if it's at the maximum peak is zero, you've mastered it already. So what you need to do is when you come here, is simply just reduce the volume of your instrumental to negative six if it was playing, if the maximum peak was zero. And if your maximum peak was negative six, then you just need to leave it there. Get started. Let's assume our beat was playing at zero, like this one was playing at zero dB. So I reduced it to negative six. So what I'll do is, with, uh, we mute everything else, then we just start with the first vocal that we have, which is our lead vocal. And then, master go to effects and then just down here add this mv meter if you want this mv meter i've put the link in the description below you can go and download it for free so we we'll just put it somewhere here on the corner we're going to be using it to monitor the levels of our mix so i'll do that and we'll just remove our master from here so let's just play the instrumental itself only while it's muting everything so as we play the instrumental you'll see that it will be playing somewhere around negative 6 db So you can notice that our maximum peak is at negative 6 dB. So now when we start mixing, our target should be that we balance our vocals so that we don't go above negative 3 dB. So let's try to do that. That's how simple it is. So we we'll get started. <laughs> She told me she loved me and she gave me love and affection. So you can balance the vocals. Um, you can use your ears. Balance the vocals between from this negative three where the instrumental is. Oh, sorry, from this negative six where the instrumental is to negative three. You need to know at what point is your vocal good. So it can stay anywhere between these, uh, between negative six and three. You can put it anywhere you like that's up to your test so you can just click on your vocal then increase or reduce the vocal as you play so you increase the volume there let's do this while it's taking a look at our peak meter down here your highs should be here all the time so that you don't go above which is negative three as you add the vocals so let's do this <laughs> But she told me she loved me and she gave me love and affection Even when I'm lost 
okay so i think okay for me so what you can do is do the same for all these other vocals throughout here so even when i'm lost i got no worry she my direction even when i'm lost i got no worry she my direction get get the feet for you i am a man Get love fit die for you I am a man on my way I'm never gonna leave your side Hey It's a cool no more pepe Kupele love for you Tawatiada senda ukuli konse Get love It's a cool no more pepe Kupele love for you Tawatiada senda ukuli konse Pali uyu gelu ndaru zinga kempa It's a cool no more pepe Kupele love for you Tawatiada senda ukuli konse Pali uyu gelu ndaru zinga kempa So ndika teni Okay, so that's it with this lead vocal. Then you can put in your other lead vocals. Uh, you can put the and everything, but just making sure that you are where you're supposed to be between six and negative three. So if we go to our backing vocals, since these are the same levels, I think I can just reduce their volumes at the same time. I'll just highlight them. So if I play this, we're still in the range, so we're just going to balance and see where we, we want them to be. Cause she told me she loved me and she gave me love and affection. Even when I'm lost, I got no worry, she my direction. So for our backing vocals, just noticed that they were not panned to left and right so i'm just supposed to pan them to the left and right so that one there is giving us so that one there is giving us this one in the middle somewhere up to two was supposed to be was supposed to be below three. So you can highlight this and reduce its volume like that. So okay. Even when I'm lost, I got no worry, she my direction. So that one is okay. So you can go throughout the song, balancing them like this. Make sure your lead vocal is what's on top, then you start balancing the rest below, 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 just like that. So I'm not going to balance the whole song. I just wanted you to get the, the idea. So this is actually the idea that you need to follow for you to and stage your vocals so just going through you start with your instrumental make sure it's playing somewhere negative six not below negative six which is five no reduce it to negative six if it was playing at zero db as the maximum peak to negative six if it was at negative six reduce uh leave it there and balance the vocals as you go so thanks a lot for watching uh, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to follow me on instagram where i share some good contents you'll be able to know where you can download some free plugins where you can download uh some drum kits drum packs and all those things so follow me on instagram send me a message and let me know let's start chatting from there see you in part four where we'll be adding our plugins to our focus now. Jay, but the bit, then I say, you run this. Pali, who you need for my nungene la pona moseo. Because she told me she loved me and she gave me love and affection.